the development of any nation will only come about when we think about the future and we brainstorm. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, gathered his companions when he got to Medina Munawwara. They had to establish the nation. He took from all the people around who were able to build this, to do this, to come up with this idea, that idea. You go beyond that to the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. He was the first person who did so many things. The topic is humongous. When you look at Ahdi Umar, the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, he was there for 10 years. He actually started a means of conveying messages from one city to another through what we later became to know as postmen. That was Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. He started it up. Why? Because of brainstorming, because of thinking of the future, because of developing, because of coming about. You know, when we sit and we, we hear about technological advancement first coming from other countries, right? I'm sure there might be one or two things that came from us and inshallah there will be more. But before it gets to us, there is a period of time. Look into it and try and minimize that period of time. Let us also be people, our people benefit from this good goodness. Inshallah, it will progress. What, what happened? You thought about the future. How can we improve? How can we develop? Because in our positions of leadership, it is similar, similar to an aircraft that is in flight. It needs to continue flying in order to remain or to keep that altitude, to remain upon that altitude. The minute the engines are off, what happens to that aircraft? No matter what, it's going to come down. So you need to keep flying. You need to keep progressing, keep looking forward, keep focusing, keep checking, keep seeing how you can develop. And I promise you, when you leave office one day, for whatever reason it may be, the natural dua and supplication that will come out of the hearts of the people you served will be sufficient by the will of Allah to get you into paradise. Natural dua. People are praying for you. This, this man or this woman, when they came in, oh wow, they made life easy for us and so on. Brings me to another hadith where the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, whoever makes life easy for someone, Allah will make their life and hereafter easy for them. The day of judgment you go, and you're a VIP. <laughs> Probably say, well, in Mali, they were also VIPs. Here, they're also VIPs. What's going on here? But I promise you, the VIPs of the Day of Judgment, those who made life easy for others, Allah makes life easy for them in this world and the next. So as you're sailing through, it will be that quality of yours that would have gotten you to this position. May Allah Almighty help us and guide us. And may Allah open our doors.